Hi, everybody. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us this afternoon. Um, I'm Rosie Rojales, and I'm co-founder and creative director at Hooray Design. Um, today, I'm happy to introduce our speakers for our second Hooray webinar, which is, which is entitled Setting Up Your Home Office. As a company has been um, practicing interior design and architecture for the past 11 years, and for as a team who has been uh, implementing work from home for the past three years, um, we hope to share the knowledge and expertise that we've gathered over the past years to help and improve the lives of our clients, especially our, our um, friends and other uh, followers. Um, I'm happy to introduce our speakers for um okay so getting to know you guys um uh, our first speaker is a licensed interior designer and design manager at hooray um, she's from polytechnic university of the philippines and ranked third in the board licensure interior design examination she has been with hooray for nine years first i'm general manager for contract world furniture first is a graduate of de la salle university with a double degree in commerce and psychology after six years in the industry. She has gained expertise in the design, manufacture, and quality control in office furniture. Dana Uy, the managing director of Design Story, she graduated from De La Salle University with a degree in marketing management. Being a frustrated artist and designer in college led her to take up advanced interior design course at the Philippine School of Interior Design or PSID. She has over eight years of experience working in the design industry. Um, let me welcome um, Jan Lynn, Frizz, and Dana. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Hi. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks, Miss Rosie, and thanks everyone for being with us here today. I'm Janlin from Hurry Design, and welcome to the second design webinar series from Hurry Design in partnership and collaboration with Contract World and Design Story. As a designer, I'm very much excited and thrilled to be part of this discussion. And I'm not going to be alone today because joining with me here today are two of my fellow ladies, which I closely work and collaborate for our residential, commercial, and office projects. We have here Furs and Dana. Hi, Furs. Hi, hi. Thank you very much for that wonderful introduction, Miss Rosie and Jan Lin. So, hi, everyone. I'm Furs. I represent Contract World. Under Contract World, we're the business division of the Casabella Group. So I have, we have brands such as um, Human Scale from US, H&I from Canada, and Sunon from China, and many others. So for any contract needs, um, may it be office, hotel, restaurant, resorts, uh, we, have, we have it to offer for you. And with me also is my partner in crime. Um, since day one with this group, Dana Uy of Design Story. Hi everyone, good afternoon. Miss Rosie, John Lin, and first, thank you for that. So my name is Dana Uy. I'm the managing director of Design Story. So at Design Story, we represent several brands, including a Scandinavian brand called Hey, um, Stellar Works, and Tradition. So uh, I work alongside with Furs and Hooray um, for several projects, and I've been in the industry for about eight years. So ever since then, I've been working with Miss Rosie and John Lin. So yeah yes. <laughs> thank you for joining us today okay so after getting to know us we'd like to know more about you guys who are watching right now so and listening so we have our first poll right now we'll flash it on your screen so we'd like to know if you have been working from home you can answer yes or no so it will pop up um, I want to know, Dana, of course I know, but for everyone's curious, what's your working, current working condition right Actually, now? Actually, um, for us at Design Story, Contract World, and Casa Bella, we've been open since uh, June. So um, most of our showrooms are open, um, and half the team is working from home, and half the team is at the showroom on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's the same schedule for me and Furs. But for today, we're actually here. Um, she's on the other side of the showroom, and I'm on the other end. Hi, Dana. <laughs> so, Social distancing. Yeah. yeah. So how about you guys at Hurry? Yeah. Well, our team is extended work from home, but 
work from home setup is something not new to us because even before the pandemic, we're used to practicing work from anywhere and work from home setup. So I'm very proud that our team are quite flexible when, when it comes to this pandemic because uh, we can all adapt to the situation. And I guess based from our results, is That's also the same ninety one percent. Yes, yes. Nine, whopping ninety one percent have been working from home, and nine percent. Uh, Dana, what do you think about the nine percent? Nine percent probably there. I think some of the companies right now, it's kind of challenging for them to work from home. So probably yung mga iba na talagang they're required to come in. Or maybe some are still exploring, uh, looking for a job right now. So For a job, yeah. Yeah. And the results are not really surprising. No? Parang it's quite expected because we here in the Philippines, even globally, were forced to stay at home and do our online work. So... Um, the 91% really proves talaga that most of our viewers right now and everyone is just staying at home and working from home. Yeah, yeah, correct. And knowing that, before we jump right through the discussion, we'd like to um, give a very brief background about the history of um, workspace. So as work as a designer working for a design firm, we do get a lot of uh, projects the past few, uh, few years for offices and workspaces. And it goes to show that the trend for office design was really evolving from the usual traditional workspaces now to more open planning, like they have bigger pantry, the, the trend of even uh, residential, the, co uh, the combination of residential and commercial even uh, stood out because a lot of offices investing on their employees' value on making sure that the comfort of being at home will be presented also in the office. But um, for me personally, I'm used to going to the office every day. For nine years of my life, I'm used to of this kind of setup, like working with teams, saying hello to my office mates in the hallway, eating in the pantry together. And this type of setup really evolved with my nine years of working as an interior designer. And as you can see here in the photo, some of our office projects even incorporated like play area or watching area. And we do have a lot of meetings together as a team and everything changes because of this pandemic since the lockdown happened. Yeah, so grabe no, Jan Lin, nine years. You've been doing all of those, going to the office, back and forth, home office, and also, of course, um, mga social gatherings. Yeah. And now it's, it's all very different. So before what we had was... Uh, Years ago, the setup in the office used to be like panel workstations. And just recently, we moved to agile workspaces. So more on collaborative areas, you know, promoting um, mingling with your colleagues. Yeah. And actually, I watched this webinar just recently that what they missed most about going to the office is more on the collaboration with each other. Yes, so I agree. That's, an, that's a very important thing or aspect in terms of the... Um, workspaces so but right now um everything's different so it from from the usual office um you know going to the office the work from home setup and lifestyle really jacked up so it boosted before we were just contemplating about the work from home but now it's yeah. history here already it's, it's happening right yeah, yeah. And with that, then the past few weeks, the past few months, um, a lot of uh, reputable media outlets have also been releasing articles regard, uh, like Forbes, um, the New York Times, that work from home is going to be here to stay. Like big companies such as Google, Facebook, Twitter, they've actually released statements that their employees are not going to be working from the office anymore. So if not until the end of the year, they'll be working from home, possibly indefinitely. So... Medyo matagal pa I agree with that. <laughs> oh, matagal pa. Yeah. Kasi even currently in our office, we've decided to really re rechange, relay out the whole office into a more uh, safety protocols. But our company decided that, you know, for everyone's safety, especially our employees' health and um, protection, we should extend the working 
work from home scheme and that was actually kahit chinage na namin yung layout in the office we still prefer to still stay at home because again hindi pa rin naman na approve yung vaccine so we better just stay at home now yes agree agree and even facebook and si twitter um they mentioned the permanent yata for about um until 10 yeah. years if their employees choose to work from Correct. home and given time. given those data i mean local and globally if you're looking for ways to spru- spruce up your home and looking for a space to set up your home office because of the situation then i think you guys are here for the right place because for today we will be discussing and giving you five step guide to your new normal work setup and we will give um design styling tips on how you can incorporate our nine hurry styling themes and the importance of ergonomics and the significance of having a dedicated area for your working space at home. So guys, we want to ask you a question before we start the laga. So which area of the house are you currently working from? So is it private home office or bedroom, communal area, or mm. you just really don't have any dedicated space, like anywhere? Anywhere, anywhere in go. the house. Yeah. yeah. It's a floor. <laughs> so it's important for us to know because there are different types of work culture per per person, right? So other prefer to work in the bed or others prefers no distraction at all. So we want to know from the poll. And mm-hmm. I think we have the results. answers are yeah. yeah. We are fifty three percent will be bedroom. bedroom. Yeah. But I think the answers are spread out a little bit, no? It goes to show that yes. every home talaga has a different layout and it's different for all of us. So some are in the communal areas, some have a private home office. Medyo mahirap yata yung I have no space. <laughs> yeah, but don't <laughs> yes, you worry, guys, yes. because we're here to help you guys. Um pick a space in your house and how you would style it because there's really an importance of having a dedicated space for you to work on and that uh, leads us to our and that leads us to giving us the five step guide and that first step is actually picking a spot in your house so yes, those who and like the 6% from the poll who answered that they don't have a space or the others that have their own space and want to change it, then the first step is actually picking a spot in your home. Now, how do you do that? Now, the first consideration I'd like to ask you first, what was your consideration on choosing your current workstation at home? Yeah, for me, kasi, um, it's hard to work when when there's distraction everywhere. So so for me personally, I get distracted a lot um, in terms of noise. So for example, I'm talking on the phone and then someone just walks by uh, talking also. So I get distracted on what I'm, uh, the topic that I'm talking about with the person next on the phone, right? So we have various um, noise destruction in the house. So there's uh, sometimes there are kids, babies crying, you know, or sometimes yeah. if, for example, you're working from the province, um, you will hear me. some boosters. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so those are some of the things that we have to take into consideration. And in terms of choosing a space, you, you need to have your own quiet space in terms of working. Yeah. yeah. For, for me, um, my current work setup is that I converted my sister's room into a private home office just because of <laughs> just because of I do like to work in a in a zone I, as I mentioned I've been working for nine years and my mindset was wired to traveling from my home to the office and then when I'm in the office I knew I was gonna work I'm that's work mode but now since the pandemic happened the only traveling that I have is like three to five steps away from my bed. And that's, I, parang hindi ko na deviate that this is me time and this is work time. So it was very important to me to create a boundary and zones. So for those people like me who wanted to create and have a better mindset on 
creating work and personal zone that I think that's one of the biggest consideration you have to think. How about you, yeah, Dana? For me, then, kasi, um, for me, naman, see, first, the biggest distraction for her would be the noise. For, for me, naman, is the lighting. Mm-hmm. So that's one of the main considerations I had to consider when I chose my um, working spot at home, so which is right in my bedroom, but right beside also a big window. So I have a, I have natural light in, during the daytime, and um, at night I also make use of a lamp, so it's also well lit. So yeah, yeah. And for those people who answers from the poll, we'll give you examples of a different setups in, uh, in your home that you can do. So the first example uh, set up is a workspace set up in a designated home office, which I currently have. The advantage of having this one is, of course, one, uh, more privacy, um, less noise, and less distraction because you have an enclosed area. And again, it creates a zone for me, like a mindset that when I'm in here, it's going to be work. And when I'm outside the office, it's going to be more of like personal time. So. A lot of people you would hear, and I'm pretty sure everyone can relate that that working from home is sometimes more tiring than working in the office. True. It's because, yeah, I think the number one factor that affects it is really the mindset. There's yeah. really no boundaries. You can work with your pajamas or you could work in your bed, but there's no limitation. And the advantage of having this one, this designated home office, is that you can really personalize, just like what we did in one of the residential house that we did for Hooray. This one, as you can see, the advantage is that you're not limited on having like a formal, professional, or corporate-looking office. You can really play and spruce it up with prints because it reflects your personality. Because in the office, you're very limited be- uh, just because of the company branding, the values. So it has to be reflected. But in your house, I think the advantage is you can really um, reflect your own personality. If you want to add color, then go ahead. Because yeah. it's your own office. And then the second example of a setup is a workspace setup in your bedroom, which is majority of the viewers right now answer that they are working from their bedroom. Now, one tip that I can give to you is if you have a generous space, um, try not to place your table and desk near the bed, like the farthest away that you can get. And avoid having, uh, when you're doing online meetings, avoid having bed as your background, just because we all know that you're working from home, but we don't want to see more personal aside from their intention on meeting you. So I guess if you have a generous space, try to pick the farthest uh, space away from the bed. Yes, at least if uh, you don't have a spare room to convert into home office, you still have an isolated area where there's less distraction, there's uh, ample amount of natural light, you can still do your thing. And if you're sharing a room with your partner or someone else, then at least they also have their private space. So that's my tip for you guys. And then those that really um, can't afford to have another room built in their house or there's really no extra room in their home to, or a space in their bedroom to place their workspace, um, the most practical way is set it up in the communal area. Now, this will be quite challenging for some because lalo na when you're sharing the space with others, like with pets, with kids, with your family, with your friends, it's really hard. That's why here is an example of an open communal area. It's a residential project we did also in Ayala Heights. As you can see, there are a lot of options for you to, like there's a living area, but we built in a bar near the living area. And then we made sure that there are outlets nearby in case that you need to charge your phone or plug in your laptop. So that's one consideration we always think about when we're planning a residential, not just offices, but we think of it as people, how they use the space. And again, if there's really no space, later we'll give you tips and advice on how you can incorporate like backdrops or partitions. In yeah, this there's type a lot of, of different ways naman. And also some tips um, on what you can do to also still help you concentrate working even if you're in a communal area. Yes. And by the way, guys, if you do have questions, just you can chat those questions on the side and we will answer that later. Yeah, later. Right? After the, the webinar, webinar, yes. Yes. Okay. And then 
For our next yeah. poll, first, would you like to ask our uh, viewers? Yeah, so uh, we all know that doing, uh, you know, using mga existing chairs will also lead to some discomfort. So we'd like to know what kind of discomforts you're currently feeling from working from home. So do you have yeah. muscle strain, lower back, neck pain, leg pain, eye strain, lahat na. Yes. So pain. you first, and alin dyan ang ano mo, nakifeel mo. <laughs> Oo. Sa akin, leg pain. Leg pain lang yung wala. <laughs> I've experienced all of it. Halos. Pero I think leading ang answer natin so lower with back. lower back yeah. pain. Yeah. Lower back pain. This is most yeah. common, common now. Yeah. I, I'm yes. curious first, since you are dealing with a lot of like clients from contract world, what uh -huh. was the usual like health conditions they asked? Like, is it good for my back or like, and, yeah, like, usually, uh, usually when they when they ask us, um, they tell us, ah, I have scoliosis. Again, can you help me mm -hmm. uh, find which chair is most suitable for? for my back, ganyan. Or, yeah. I'm, I'm this weight. Can you help me choose ano yung mga possible chairs that can, you know, support. Um, can, can yeah. support and have the weight capacity that I need and require. So, usually, we, we refer them or recommend to them um, some ergonomic chairs. It has to have the reclined function mm -hmm. always. And also, aside from that, um, Kilangan yung next natin dyan will be the the desk also. Yeah. Pero for for the chair yon, it has to be always suitable for the person. It depends on the person's ano, comfortability, comfortability level. Yeah. I agree. We'll we'll talk more about that later. But uh, why did we ask this question again? We're not medical practitioners. Yeah. <laughs> we're design experts, and we just ask this not just to you know give medicine to your whatever discomfort <laughs> you're feeling, but there's one factor that we all know somehow affects your working condition. And if there's feeling of discomfort, one might have a bad chair or a bad table, and we'll discuss why it affects your health or any discomfort from your body later. But before that, um, going, I'll go back later to the poll, but I'd like to go to my second point, which is setting up your workstation. Once you found a spot in your home, now it's time to set up your workstation. Now, how do you do this? How do you set up your workstation? What's your checklist? What's your consideration? And here, together with me again, Contract World and Design Story will help us identify each item that it will suit best for your lifestyle. Yes. And before that, um, I can I think the best person to describe ergonomics is someone who handles and being surrounded My, with ergonomic, ergonomic stuff for <laughs> six years. Yeah. First, can you help us describe what ergonomics and really the importance of this? Yeah, so the reason why we included this slide is because we always hear the word ergonomics everywhere, everywhere we go. So what is really ergonomics? It's, the, it's simply the study of humans and work. So it's providing you the tools to make you work more efficiently. So for example, everything has ergonomics. Um, Common notation is that ergonomics is only for chairs, for tables, but that's the misconception. It's actually everywhere, even the light, even the laptop, even the keyboard, all of those has ergonomics because it's de it depends on the usability um, and you being user-friendly to a person, making them more efficient in everything that they do. So even the mouse, um, Your pen. Even the aircon, the controller, yeah, the pen. So yeah, Jan in the day, answer the the question correctly. well for me i i understand and fully value ergonomics because i often use this word i'm a fan of anything ergonomically designed my friends would always hear me say that i like this product because ergonomic siya hawakan or ergonomic siya for me yes. and as a designer we study human anthropometrics or human body measurements to be able to produce ergonomics because as a designer we deal with a lot of um users how they use the bed how they use the chair how they lie back how they sit how they eat everything revolves around human being human body so we have to really take into consideration 
ergonomics. And how about you, Dana? Since you've been feeling, are you using an ergonomic chair? I am now. <laughs> During the start of ECQ, <laughs> but I have a, I had a chair in my bedroom for the longest time, 10 years na siya done, but I haven't been using it because I don't really work from home. But then starting yeah. last um, March, I had to because I had to work from home every day. So that's when I called first. <laughs> first, masakit yung likod ko. <laughs> Can you send me? So at home, I'm now using a human scale chair, which we'll show also later. So lesson Naman na siya now. So, but at least, no, hindi Dr. Una mo si first. Si first talaga. Yes. And for those people who answer that they have lower back pain, exactly. you have to yeah, call it's first. It's quite common. Yes. Pre, pre consultation, guys. <laughs> You have to call first because of this number one uh, factor. Um, ergonomics, to make it less complicated and to simply put it into context, it's a combination of human body measurements and user measurements into design to provide a comfort level. And, you know, that, that will benefit your health, your productivity, because anything that discomforts you is really affecting your productivity when you, while you're working, especially for a long period of hours, right? Yes, and actually, this ano, this photo that you're showing on the screen, just a little trivia. This is actually a book of the human measurements, the different scales. So, as we've mentioned earlier, everything has um, ergonomics. So, even the size of the glasses, it's made from this guide, um, Human Scale, which um, was authored by Niels Different. And Niels Different is a legendary industrial designer. So, he created this and invented even the gas lift. Thank you for him. <laughs> Thank you to him because we can adjust our chairs um, very easily and effortlessly. So aside from that, he also designed Polaroid camera and even the cockpits and also the our human scale chairs was also designed by Niels Different. So thank you. And it him. just really goes to show that ergonomics is not just based from aesthetics for form. Yeah. It has really a basis which is the body, human yes. body measurements. I think every detail even your finger, your nail is being measured here just to prove that it should comf uh, comfort everyone. And just to give you a very good example of a non-ergonomic design, and an ergonomic design is a mouse. So everyone, I am pretty sure, have used a mouse in their life. And the first mouse that was released was actually just a boxy, edgy type of thing with a just a button to click, and that's it. You know, walang ergonomics or anything measurement that was considered, maybe just the size of the hand to fit it. But um, medical research and a lot of um, articles released that sometimes working long hours with mouse with a non-ergonomic design can cause like carpal tunnel or mm -hmm muscle strain on your wrist, on your hand. That's why the picture on your right, as you can see, is a revolutionized and developed by human scale that is um, based from act the organic and the natural form of a hand, how we move our fingers, how we yes. close our, our wrist. Everything is uh, well thought of it here. And you can see the design difference. And I guess even though na hindi natin experience both of this mouse, I think everyone can relate na pag mo pa lang yung picture on your on your left, the first mouse, you can imagine how painful it will be if you're going to be using it for a long time, right? So this is just to show how ergonomic really affects our health and the design. And here to show us their chair. is when they do sit, the they support support from their chair. Yeah. It's the four pillars In most of offices, ergonomics. workers sit hunched over their desks. They lean forward to access their keyboard and mouse, straining their neck, shoulders, and lower back, with little to no support from their chair. When they do sit back, their chair only provides adequate support if properly adjusted, a reality that rarely exists. The solution is simple. An ergonomic workstation designed to conform to the four pillars of ergonomics. The four pillars are support, reach, vision, breathing, An ergonomic task chair is essential to workplace health. The safest posture for seated work is also one of the most comfortable. Leaning back, 
with your arms and shoulders relaxed and your feet flat on the floor. A task chair should easily accommodate this posture by providing automatic support throughout the entire range of recline without having to adjust any manual controls. Reaching for often used tools takes the body out of a healthy posture and can lead to muscle strain. For example, the benefits of reclined sitting can only be realized if the keyboard is positioned an inch or two above the lap and tilted slightly away from the body, so the wrists are straight when typing. This keyboard position allows the user to be fully supported by their chair while working, with relaxed neck, shoulder and back muscles. Ineffective monitor placement, together with improper lighting, can result in eye strain and poor posture. The answer? A monitor on an ergonomic task chair is essential to workplace health. The safest posture for seated work is also one of the most comfortable, leaning back with your arms and shoulders relaxed and your feet flat on the floor. A task chair share should easily accommodate this posture by providing automatic support throughout the entire throughout the entire range of recline without having to adjust any manual any manual controls. Reaching for often used tools takes the body out of a, out of a healthy posture and can lead to muscle strain. For example, the benefits of reclined sitting can only be, only be realized if the keyboard is positioned an inch or two above the lap and tilted slightly away from the body, so the wrists are straight when typing. This keyboard position allows the user to be fully, be fully supported by their chair while working, with relaxed neck, shoulder and back, shoulder and back muscles. Ineffective monitor placement, together with improper lighting, can result in eye strain and poor posture. The answer? A monitor arm that retracts, rotates, and swivels. And task lighting that can be, can be easily directed to items that need illuminating. The EPA sta states indoor air is up to five times more polluted than outdoor air. In addition to dust, allergens, and gases from, from cleaning products, carpeting, and upholstery, recycled air can carry colds and, flu, colds and flu, contribute to fatigue and headaches, even impact heart disease and cancer. Central air filtration systems or traditional room air purifiers simply can't clean all the air. Only air purifiers that can direct clean air to the, clean air to the breathing zone are effective in most workplace environments. Applying the four pillars of ergonomics to workstations can dramatically reduce, dramatically reduce the risk of injuries, illnesses, fatigue, and other health issues that can impact performance and productivity. With proper use of best-in-class ergonomic tools, workers can experience the highest levels of health, comfort, and performance possible. All right, yeah. so guys, we've seen it. So that is the actually the four pillars of ergonomics. Hmm. So, Ang video no, para nagma mash up siya. Oh, ulit po. Oo lang ba yun? Oo. Ne-emphasize na talaga. <laughs> so anyway, before I go to the next slide, I'd like to first have a quick uh, announcement because I forgot to mention this at the beginning. Um, by the way, for those who are watching right now and listening right now, uh, be sure to stay with us until the end of this winter because Contract World and Design Story have a very special announcement later. So you need to tune in. So may surprise sila at the end. Ano kaya yun? <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right. Okay. M moving forward, the the main reason why we ask you for the poll is because we'd like to uh, give you a brief uh, background on why you are currently feeling um, discomfort, especially those that are so lower back pain. And yeah, 
Yeah, first, yes. can you explain to us why is it really affecting um, our posture in our back? First, before you, yeah, ano, so before you explain, oh, yes. ano, can you help um, explain in a simpler term um, to our viewers, parang, was it, what is it like to have a bad chair? Parang, what, what does it do to your body? So, actually, um, I'm not sure if anyone from our viewers has been in a one-sided relationship. I <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So for me, kasi, um, having a bad chair is actually being in a one-sided relationship. Why? Because in a one-sided relationship, you're the one always um, doing effort. Diba? You're the one adjusting lagi. It's it, it should be ano eh, a two way street. It should go both ways. So, for example, here when I recline, yung chair yung naga adjust mm-hmm. sa akin sa movements. Ko. Give and take na siya, de ba? Mm-hmm. Uh, give and give take. and take siya. So pag ako naman nag move forward, yung chair din dapat mag move forward mm-hmm. with you. Dapat it, it goes both ways lage. Otherwise, doon lalabas yung pain. <laughs> Kasi masakit lagi. Masakit talaga yun. Oo, oh, oh, masakit talaga. Ulit-ulit, nag effort ka, diba? Tapos, masakit talaga yun um, sa likod. Walang reciprocation <laughs> na nangyayari. So, when when that happens, talagang masakit. masakit. Ayun. Yes. So, so, nagkakaroon tayo ng lower back pain. pain. So, this one, in this diagram, I'll just quickly show you. Um, the disc pressure of your lower back, when you're standing, it's, ano, east up. But when you're sitting, leaning forward, nandoon yung majority ng pressure sa lower back natin. So, mm-hmm. parang law of gravity. So, lahat ng pressure na pupunta doon sa lower back, lumbar spine natin. Mm-hmm. As compared to when you're leaning back or standing up, yung back yung ginagamit mo, yung um, backrest ng chair, yung nagsusupport sa body weight mo. Mm-hmm. So, Yun. guys, so, if you like Fur's analogy, what it feels like of having a bad chair, you can give her a thumbs up. I think you can <laughs> send her hearts and thumbs up right there. Yeah. Yeah. So, I hope you learned a thing or, or two about, that, ano, about having about a bad chair. chair and relationship. <laughs> one-sided relationship. Yeah. Thank you, Fur. It's relatable. Thank you, Fur. They all have that. Yes. And to solve with those having like back problems or any uh, discomfort you are having, I guess one solution is that you can improve or invest in a really good ergonomic chair. And here are some recommendations from Contract World and Design Story. You'd yes. like to discuss this? So everything kasi starts when you're young. So that's why we at Contract World also have contributed. Um, we have brought in kids furniture so we have kids ergonomic kids um tables and also chairs so this is our um prim collection from contract world which can actually adjust as your child grows it can be from age ranging from four years old up to kahit teenager na sila na up to college mga 17 years old so wag lang silang yaoming level of height magagamit pa rin nila yung, yung chairs nila. And of course, we have for adults, we have the Liberty Chair, Freedom Chair, both from Human Scale. And also, we have Butterfly Chair from Sunon, our Chinese brand from Contract World also. Yeah. So if you want to avail a special promo, you can click the tab right there as you're seeing now. And after the chair, I think the next important thing is a work desk, right? So we have another poll for you guys for you to answer. Dana, can you read the question for our viewers? Yeah. So do you have a oh hold on. Okay. Oh, do you have a dedicated <laughs> surface to work on? So these are the choices. So you currently work on your lap, which is I think it's quite hard. And then do you work <laughs> on your bed or do you have a dedicated work desk? Or well I think the best case scenario would be you have a height adjustable work desk. So Uy, meron, Uy, meron may, may height percent. adjustable. <laughs> Oo. Baka wow. taga Contact World yan. Na. <laughs> Parang walang bumili sa akin ng mga adjustable sa na team. work desk ka. Or wish list ba Baka to? Baka may client na nandito. 
Ayan. Dana, what can you say doon sa mga nag-work on their bed or on their lap? Um, th- that that will never work for me. <laughs> if I do that, I will never finish anything. But I think we yeah. have 79%. Um, they have a dedicated work desk. So I think that's good. And then some work on their laps. I think medyo mahirap yan. So we'll share with you as to why um, why is it important, important to, have to have a, a work desk and Better to have a height adjustable working desk, but of course, if you don't have something like that, there are also um, exercises you can do. Um, yeah, so you can stretch a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the next is actually an ergonomic tip. So, if you guys watching right now or listening right now, uh, looking at your screen of your monitor, laptop, or desktop, try to reach your arm towards your computer screen. So, it's like this. Yes. Arms forward. Send a thumbs up if ginawa niyo. <laughs> <laughs> so we know. But anyway, so let us know also if your fingers are touching the screen or your elbows are slightly bent, bent or your fingers, yes, are not touching the screen because an ergonomic tip for you to understand where you to actually place your monitor on your uh, work surface is actually an arm length away. So it should be arm length away. The tip of your fingers should touch the screens and that screen when you know yeah you're ergonomically placed on your chair on your desk and on your monitor to talk more about uh those health benefits of having a good adjustable desk height is again first yes so actually um this is according to dr alan hedge of cornell university so he made this uh diagram or graph wherein every 30 minutes, you should be doing all of these. So within 30 minutes, 20 minutes should be spent sitting. Um, eight minutes should be spent standing. Standing. And yes, and two minutes should be spent walking mm-hmm. around or light yes. stretch, you know. So 28 para, and two. Yes. Yes, 28 and two. Yes, so para mag, you know, para mag-relax kung masyado na stiff yung ating muscles. Because normally, so, people just stay sitting lang. Yes, and normally, just, matapos nila yung trabaho work, nila. Yeah. They just keep on working, sitting. Sometimes even, ano, um, tatayo lang sila just to go to the yes, comfort the room. room. Yeah. Yes, correct. Uh, so the sometimes correct, they sit on their table, diba? Yes, so the correct pattern pala is 28 and 2. Yes. But it's hard when you don't really have a table na parang pagtatayo ka every 30 minutes and uupo, you have to bring up your laptop, right? Yes. So, so we we have this recommendation for you guys if you want to, you know, do the ideal pattern, more convenient and better for your health. We have this tables and accessory from Human mm-hmm. Scale. Yes. So I have here with me, I'm actually using it right now. It's the flow table from Human Scale using counterbalance mechanism. So it's neither hand crank when, when you move it up, nor electric. Para in case mag brown out, na usually nangyayari here in the Philippines, you can still be able to use your table and adjust it. So I'll just demo it to you quickly. So it's going up right now. <laughs> na ako. And yeah. now, going down. There. Super so, convenient. Super effortless then. Yeah. Ba? And also, but if you have, for example, an existing desk or like Dana, she's using a built-in desk in her in her house right now. We also have the quick stand echo. So it's an accessory that you just put on top of your desk. And then it can act like a standing desk already. Yeah. If you want to know more about the details of what first just said, you can also visit their website. You can click that on the, the link. link somewhere on your screen. I don't know <laughs> where it's going to be placed. But yeah, and I, li- I personally like the float table as a designer because we deal with a lot of like manual sketching or 20 by 30 plans. So it's very useful. It's like a improvised uh, drafting board that I can easily adjust. Yeah. Yeah. And once you've identified your spot, you have a good chair, you have a good, good mm-hmm. table, the next thing you need to have is a good lighting. And we in Hooray Design emphasizes 
and carefully planning a lot on good lighting design. From the beginning pa lang, we laid out all the furniture and make sure that we use a software even to calculate the standard lumens and lux per a specific workspace. Because in office, there are standard gui guidelines for you to understand it. No, I, I don't want to sound too technical, but there are really guidelines that we follow. And for our clients who are watching right now, they do know that we send out questionnaires to them. It's a long questionnaire. And part of those questionnaires are we really asking specific, and not just really the owner, but also the employees, all the people who are working there, the staff, because there are different work cultures, right? And we need to know what type of work they do and the service. So that's part of our design process. And we want to understand and make sure that the lighting would increase productivity and not affect their productivity and make it less. So that's the number one goal. Now, for those who are staying at home and like has to work with whatever existing light they have, or they don't really have an access to natural light, Dana will discuss to us what are the other um, alternatives that we can use into our space. Yeah, like, like you've mentioned, not everyone has the luxury of having a big window right beside them while working. So these are a few items that can help you. So we selected a few task lights. We actually have more, um, but I think these, these are some um, examples that can um, accommodate the different you know, preferences of our clients. So, First one, you have the 50-50 floor lamp. It also has a desk lamp version. So what's good about this is you can direct it literally anywhere you want it in the room. And then the human scale element desk light, I think first is going to tell us more about that. Yes. So actually, that's what we are currently using. So here, <laughs> um, it doubles as a light ring, for example, <laughs> if you're having webinars like us. Yeah. And it has seven dimmable adjustments. Yeah. And, and it did them kumuna para hindi kayo masilaw. So here also, um, there's like a golf ball here, which is an occupancy sensor that saves energy. So when you're on your desk or when when you go out, it can automatically shut off after a certain number of minutes. And also for this one, since it's LED, it has about 25 years of lifespan. Yeah. yeah. And if you like something minimal or you don't have a lot of space on your desk to put a light, we have the Hey Marcellus desk lamp also. So it's very small, lang, it's compact, and then you can also dim it and rotate it. So, yeah. And just to add to that, uh, Part of our design service is we also offer styling services. So for those people that doesn't want full construction and ch changing their lights, we usually study parent good lighting design and incorporate this uh, task lighting, maybe floor lamp, table lamp, to really improve the lighting inside their house. So it's a good uh, upgrade that doesn't require constructions. And if you want to know more about our styling service, you can click also the link there somewhere. <laughs> Uh, because we have curated nine design teams, which we'll be discussing later. And which goes to my fourth point, which is the backdrop setup. How important is the backdrop setup, especially when you're doing online meetings? And for those people who answered earlier that they don't have a space, then this is a good tip for you guys on how you can elevate and improve your Background. backdrop. Jana can help us describe these options. Yeah, so if you have a free wall at home or, well, if you don't also, we have a solution for that. So some tips that I can give you would be you can hang a, a poster or a painting or any art, artwork right behind you, just like what I have here. And then um, another thing we have that can help you with acoustics would be the mine collection. Um, first, can you tell us more about the mine? Yeah, so for the mine, it can double as a background for you. Or also, as Dana mentioned, an acoustics because it has acoustics property mm -hmm. with um, using felt material for the mine collection. Yeah, and if... So it comes into colors green and Yeah, and, and if you're working yeah. in a communal space at home and you need a divider, um, that can also help you with that. So Yes, good yes. luck. And just a design styling tip. Uh, knowing those products, you have to be careful on placing it. Like, where's, where should you put it? Because you don't want to overdo your background or as much as possible create a false extension. Um, one tip that I can add if you can really repaint your wall or build a new wall is to add layers and textures. So, for example, in this photo, you can add like a car, like a design piece here with a floor lamp and just some plants. 
and that's it that's it that's good to go and then also if you're very artistic and you want to hang artworks just like what Dana mentioned earlier I suggest to keep it to a neutral and keep it clean and make sure that when you test your camera online make sure that there is no anything <laughs> yeah there, there's nothing anything that is connected to your head that creates an illusion that it's part of your body so that's the false extension so avoid those and make sure that it's uh, comp uh clean and then the next style is a keep it plain and neat. So if you can't afford to paste something on your wall, then the mine collection that first mentioned earlier would be a good option for you guys because you can just stand it at your back. Uh, it's movable, it's freestanding, so it's very flexible. And again, this is also part of our styling services we do for Hooray. Um, we have clients who are contacting us and saying that they want to just elevate and spruce up the space, but they don't want you know, big renovation or construction work. Then part of that is our styling services that we just usually check their space, curate it, and put some design elements in their house. So if you want to know more about that, just click the link down there. And yeah, so that's for the backdrop setup. And then another tip. If you don't have a wall behind your workspace, then this next item would be useful for you. Yes. Yeah, so if you don't have any wall or you don't have a blank wall behind you, but you, yes. you still want to style it or you still want to express yourself a little bit. So shelves are some uh, uh, a solution that you can use for that. So we have two types for hay. We actually have more, uh, but I think these are some of the best ones. You have the new order, which is something that's very flexible. It's also what I have behind me. And then you have the Eiffel shelf. So what's good about these, which is behind first. So what's good about yes. this is that um, it's not only for decor, but it can also serve as a storage for you. So if you have a lot of files or if you have, if you need to store some documents, you can put them kahit sa baba na lang. So they don't see it on the eye level, but you can still use it. Correct. And our fifth step, our fi uh, last step in final, for our yeah. five-step guide is wait i'll go back uh we'd like to ask you first which design theme are you so for those people who are not that artistic and don't know what type of design style they would like we have created this are just five of our nine hooray themes so you can choose one we have contemporary minimalist which is more clean minimalist type use of natural materials we have casual eclectic which is more of like using um pastel colors bright colors and then we have asian contemporary as well and for those who are you would like the something sleek and modern we have modern functional and i guess for those who are experimental and really would like to go all out we have the bold eclectic so you can choose your design theme and let us know. Janlin, yeah. what design theme are you? Um, as a designer, it's really hard because um, I like all the design themes personally. <laughs> but if I were to choose one, I'm more of contemporary minimalist. So I like really um, Scandi, light colors, neutral. Kayo, ni Dana. Ako mo modern, modern functional. functional. Ako, Ako a little bit on the ano, casual eclectic side. Talaga. Mm. Cute ng pink eh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Let's see how our viewers. Oh, marami yung. Mas contemporary marami. minimalist. Maraming same contemporary, contemporary minimalist. Yeah. And Almost two answer half. Asian. Yeah. And then five answered bold eclectic. So yeah. almost 6%. So parang parami no? It's modern functional. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we'll go through that. The, the thing is when you accessorize, it's important that you identify what your personality what your preference are because the fifth step is really just to accessorize and with this there's no rule the thing that only matters is what your preference is what yeah. the things that makes you happy and what do you think will be useful for you because it's always different like for example with dana with first it's different with my requirements as a designer right so um just go with your personality and if you want to learn more about the design themes that i discussed because uh lima lang yun nandun, the rest are in our blog so if you want to check that out and learn more about those uh design themes and get inspiration get inspiration from those then you can check our blog so you can click the link there and then as i mentioned to accessorize you also have options 
for you to have like small items that you can add on your workspace. Yeah, so Dana, can you help here us? are a few examples. So you have different examples from Hey. So you have um, color crates, um, the toolbox. These are things that can help you organize. Um, they don't only look good, but they also serve you a function. So on the next slide, I think there are some options demand for if you're somebody who, um, if, a pla if seeing a plant or a flower, um, makes you feel better or relaxes you while you're working. So these are a few options also. You can have a flower pot or a, a vase with you. And then we also have a little something right behind first. So that little cute, cute. puppy pla planter yeah. is from Fig and Vine. So that's also something that um, you can have that's from our sister company. So From studies, plants though can you know, relieve stress. Ayon. Yeah. And if you visit our blog, uh, you'll see there the different design themes. We did that just because we wanted to offer something that is useful and a shortcut for our clients. Because the other clients would say that they don't know which design style they are, but uh, internally they know what they like. So we have already created it for them and we created this new design service called the interior styling. So again, if you're planning to elevate your space without the major construction and the hassle of like, um, contacting too many suppliers or general contractor, then I think the best service that we can offer to you is the interior design um, styling that you can also check on our blog and our links there. So yeah. Um, just last styling tip, I guess uh, just use functional decor and accessories for a better working routine. So for example, you have a light box that can serve us also as a, um, a ring light when you're doing online meetings or just like the one in the photo, uh, it's a wood hand that you can sometimes hang your headphones or your earphones. So just a tip, just make it functional and aesthetically pleasing. Again, there's no rule here. If you're a pet lover and you would like to avail one of those like cute uh, flower pots from Fig and Vine, then you can go ahead. The, just don't do overdo it. Just keep it to minimal. And uh, as long as it doesn't uh, create distraction for you, then it's okay. And talking about the nine hooray design themes, we have here some examples on how you can set up your home office based from the design team. So first one is an Asian contemporary tile uh, set up. And the, the, the one in the middle is a modern functional. So, and then the third to those who answered like the bold eclectic, then this is an example of a bold eclectic type of home office. So kayo diba, you answered modern functional. You think the one in the middle yeah. is suits you? Yes, for me, it's a uh, no. Because I want it to be really very straightforward and you know, very ano lang. Um, also, also minimal mm -hmm. in terms of the design and really functional. So very professional looking, ganyan. So that's sort of my ano, my design style. Yeah, and I guess just to you know, to put it uh, to a close, the. Uh, there's really different types of personalities and it should really suits your needs, your work culture, your mm -hmm. work routine. It's always different for everyone. Again, like for Dana, she prefers to have a bright light to work with yeah. and I don't mm -hmm. because I have <laughs> because it's eye glare to me. I cannot work on a very well lit room. So I prefer it to be a little dim. Mm -hmm. And for furs who are experiencing a lot of pain except leg pain, she has <laughs> to have a conducive like uh work chair or table and it has to like like have less distraction. So again, our tip that we can give to you is just really identify your needs your priorities, your, the considerations before picking up a space and identify also your health condition. If you're feeling of discomfort, then you can contact first because <laughs> she yes. might be able to help you with all this discomfort, even in a one-sided relationship. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah. consultation <laughs> lang yun, guys. Yes, as you can see, for both Furs and Dana, they're using their lamps mm -hmm. and their, their face is very well lit. So if you want to check out more of their products, then you can, uh, we will send the link later. And the fourth step is like to choose a backdrop. So again, minimal items that can spruce up an elevator space. And then the last and fifth step is to accessorize. And I hope 
we you guys learned something about the five step guide the importance of ergonomics and why having a bad chair is bad for your health and uh design styling tips using nine or eight uh design themes and also the significance of having a dedicated space or work area in your own home and with that i think dana and first is have a surprise for you guys who tune yes. in to this webinar yes thank you so much everyone so, for joining us this afternoon so we have a little treat uh, for all of you so um if you go to the websites of contract world and yay. design story so we have a, a promo code that's exclusive to everyone who attended this webinar so um that's an additional five percent discount on everything in the website so even if the the, the item is already discounted it's still gonna work. Um, so you can just type in Hooray X Contract World and Hooray X Design Story at the Contract World yes. um, and Design Story website. So this will be applicable starting now, today, until Sunday uh, at midnight. So yeah. Take a screenshot so that you will know the, the codes because it's actually very private to the attendees of this webinar it's a very good discount especially now na ano may lockdown <laughs> a lot of people yes. are sending hearts and thumbs up thank you daw <laughs> from contract for world and design story so avail mm -hmm. that until july 12. yes i hope so they, uh, no, they can that can help uh, no, spruce up their work from home spots Pati ba yung freedom yes. chair na kasil yun meron kasama yes so, it's site wide kasama five percent <laughs> Yung Freedom Chair, may discount na. And then on top of it, you can add the 5% pa. Oh, actually, Freedom Chair is one of my, the most comfiest chair I've ever sat on. Like, I would always, like, recommend it to my clients just because I've experienced it. It talagang afternoon yung mga na-try kong upuan. Parang masakit na sila lahat sa likod ko. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I think, na. yeah. Yes. Our viewers are quite happy for staying in with us until the end of this webinar because we have a special treat for them and if you want to also get in touch with us for our hooray styling services and other types of design services that you'd like to know then you can visit our page it's at hooray design underscore and our website hooray design dot com dot com and our blog where you can we feature nine different curated design themes is hooray design dot com slash beyond ordinary so if you can visit that and um check that um for those who are people who are interested on elevating their space without the need of uh, a long period of construction then interior styling service is what we can offer for you guys so thank you and we hope that you learn something from us today with my fellow girl bosses dana and first and we'll answer some of their questions right in the next few minutes yes so a big hip hip hooray for hooray team. <laughs> thank you, <Yeah. laughs> Rosie, and thank you, John, and thank you for the thank you. hooray team for having thank us. Thank you, everyone. Thank you also the, for joining us. I think we have a question for the Freedom Chair. From Miss Kathy Razon, we have the proper reach for laptops. So, I, I yeah, as Jan Lin discussed earlier, um, when you do like uh your arms forward the tip of your finger should touch your screen the, yeah touch your screen so for for that that is the best um distance length length and yeah. distance from from where you're sitting up to the screen of your laptop it's an arm length screen. yeah an arm yes. length away and then, and then is the freedom chair, chair customizable. customizable yes we have a lot of colors available yeah pink, white, It comes blue. in leather and fabric, Both, right? yes. You can Correct. also customize yes, yes. the base. Yes, it can come with black frame or can be um, polished aluminum frame. We have another, There's I think this one's for Jan Lin. Here. Yeah. Yeah. What paint, paint color, color can you suggest that would make you more productive? Color so, psychology. Yeah. It's different for some people, but the safest way to yes. go is really to keep it neutral. So I suggest that like, you go with light colored just because strong, bold colors have a psychology, uh, psychological impact. So, for example, mm -hmm. the warm colors tends to uh, 
create more tension and stress compared to the cooler colors like the greens, the blues, or I could suggest like keep it to the neutral, white, light gray, or beige. Yes. So, so the, that was actually fun, like being mm -hmm. with you too. I haven't seen them personally, <laughs> to be honest. Since the lockdown. And ngayon lang din kami nakapag-spend time together in this webinar pa. First, I think there's another question. So, so in, let yeah. me read so it. So, I use a vertical monitor I'm and having, I, sorry, okay lang. I'm reading it. <laughs> and a laptop as programmer. I'm <laughs> having trouble setting it up so I can avoid neck pain because the sizes are too different. What would you suggest? Um, well, in, in contract world, we have monitor arms. So, the monitor arms, we have um, from single up to six monitors. So, if you have one vertical monitor and a laptop, the other arm can can be the casing for your laptop. So one monitor here and another laptop stand or um, holder on the other arm. So yeah, we have it also on our website or one of our agents can assist you with your need. Anong tawag doon first? What do you call that? I, I know. Human scale monitor arm. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, yeah. Oh, nakita ko, nakita ko ngayon din. Yes. So, you can Usually hold two monitors. Yun, yes. More, yeah. um, it's called the M8, M8.1. Yeah. So, may tanong Do for you guys. Do you guys deliver to the province? Yes, we can. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, right now, if you if you go to the website, a lot of, uh, the deliveries are only in Metro Manila. But we've also stated there that if you are located in the province, you can just send us a message and we'll help arrange the deliveries for you. So we work with different couriers, naman. So if we wish to get in touch, any of directly, how? Mm. Should we? Is it a question? Yeah. I, I yeah, could answer I for yeah. from our end, and then yeah. Dana can answer for. So if you'd like to get in touch from Ray Design, um, there's a link in our bio that you can set an appointment, and that leads you to a specific business development associate. So you could directly contact and communicate with them on that link. Mm -hmm. So the website is. Uh, Show it again is at hooraydesign.com or just a shortcut if you have an Instagram, then follow us at hooraydesign underscore and you'll see there a link on our bio and that's where you can get in touch with us directly. Yeah, for us, Neman, yes, so, um, for Contract World and Design Story, um, you can log on to the website. So we have www.contractworldfurniture.com and www.designstory.com.ph. So you can message us there or if you have Instagram, you can also um, follow us there. Follow us. We have Design Story PH and Contract World. So you can just message us there directly. So, is there any question? Any more so, questions? So, yeah. So far, wala yeah. na nagpapop na new questions. In case you have other questions that we miss, um, just send us a message on any of the Instagram pages in, or our website so we could answer it. And then, yeah. if just you want to... Yeah. Question, I think. Yeah. Just one last question. Do you use warm or cool temperature when you're working? Yeah, um, this one, as I've mentioned, there's really a standard guidelines for that. But the suggested would be, um, in technical terms, you use Kelvin. Uh, it's up to 4,000 Kelvin. Uh, to make it more understandable, you could use cool temperature. Avoid warm because it has more of a yellowish tone. So you would want to use cool temperature of lighting because it produces uh, more productivity, especially it doesn't cause glare or... Um, um, eye strain on your eye eyes, strain. yes, because it's a more um, correct lumens to use. So yeah. So there, I yeah. think we're we're good. Yeah. Yes, and if you want to be updated and to want to be posted in more of like this kind of webinar series, our next exciting webinar is entitled "The Advantages of Quartz Tone for Your Home." which is a design discussion by my co-manager, Kim Abla. I'm very excited for this. And wait, lang just Justin Meliza. And Justin Meliza of uh, Mobler. So they're also one of our Hooray partners. So watch out for that. It's on July 17, 3 p.m., also via Demio. So 
if you want to keep posted, the link will be posted uh, on your Instagram page. But if you want to inquire and uh, advance register, they can message us on our Instagram as well. So watch out for that on July 17. And I'm also excited because Quartz, so we discussed the first, if you haven't watched it, the first episode was about styling up your living space with Sullivan rugs. That was very fun as well. And for today, it was setting up your home office and now it's the advantages of quartz stone for your home. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this webinar as much as we did. And we'd like to thank yeah, everyone thank who tuned in and stayed with us. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank, everyone. thank you very much, guys. We'll give you a copy of this uh, webinar Web um, slide. Feel free to download it on the handout so you can click that. So you have a copy and guide when you do your whole own home office. Home office. Yes. Thank, right. you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day and have a great weekend. Bye. Happy Friday. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>